Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26.2 which is of course the latest update from Apple and it's currently on its beta stages. Now earlier this week Apple has released the third beta of iOS 26.2 to the devs and also to the public testers and it looks like this update is closer to being released than we actually thought and it is an amazing update with a lot of new improvements and of course a lot of cool and very useful new features and changes. So in today's video I will give you guys an update on iOS 26.2. We have some more features to talk about and of course the performance, the battery with the last beta 3 and of course everything else you need to know regarding this update when it comes to the release of the next betas and the public release and we also have some more updates to talk about later in this video. Now before we get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure to hit the subscribe button it will really help out the channel a lot. Now first of all let's talk about the release schedule and what to expect from Apple in the next few days. Well, the first update that should come right after this should be a third, a fourth actual beta for iOS 26. Point two. Now we're currently on the third beta which was released this Monday and you can expect to have the fourth beta released on the 24th of November. Now this will most likely be the last beta of iOS 26.2. After that we should move on to the RC version which in my opinion based on everything based on the Apple's schedule it should be released on December the 1st that should be the day that we get the RC which is of course the last update released to the devs and public testers before iOS 26.2 gets out to the public which in my opinion should be the 8th of December that should be the date that we get iOS 26.2 released to the public and why is that because first off in my previous videos if you saw the previous videos I was expecting iOS 26.2 to be released on the 15th of December but things have changed and this is what has actually changed my opinion so if we go to settings here You will notice the build number for the latest beta which is beta 3. It is 23C5044B. That B indicates that we will have just another beta. Now this is not 100% sure. It might happen that we get another two betas because sometimes Apple does release the next beta with maybe the same letter or even another letter completely. But if the next beta ends with an A that will indicate that that will be the last beta. In that case as we talked about that beta should be this upcoming week on Monday and then the RC on the 1st and then a week after the public release of iOS 26.2. Now in the meantime we might also get iOS 26.1.1. Now usually when these smaller updates are about to be released we will know before because they will be actually tracked on the network and you can know basically based on the devices that are being tested internally with that software. You can know based on the traffic that that update is on a device and it's coming. Now we don't know for sure if that is happening because it has happened before. Last time we talked about about another update which was actually spotted being used but it was never released we got iOS 26.1 faster than that so we don't have any indications that iOS 26.1.1 will be released but it might happen because from here where we stand today until the final release we have about three weeks to go so there is time for Apple to release a smaller update if there is of course anything urgent that should be fixed. Now just talking about the updates that we can expect this year because when the holiday season will start there will be no updates until sometime in January we might also see the first beta of iOS 26 Point two, point three, actually after the point two update. So on the eighth, we get iOS twenty six point two get released to the public. In the meantime, during that week or maybe even earlier next week, we might also get the first beta of iOS twenty six point three, and that should be just one beta. The second one should come a few weeks after, of course, after everyone goes back to work in January. 
And now let's move on and talk about some more new features that we have been able to discover on iOS 26.2 Beta 3. First of all, let's head on to the podcast. So when you go to the podcast and you go to listen and podcast, if you tap the three dots right here, you can see this menu right here where it says go to episodes, go to show and view transcript. Now that has actually been rearranged. The view transcript was way up here. I don't know why, but Apple has just actually moved it right here at the bottom. Another change you will notice on the spotlight search. Now, I don't know, a lot of users have actually been reporting about this, seeing the rounded corners here on the keyboard with the spotlight search, especially. Now I used to have this one before on the home screen, but the lock screen is the one that a lot of users are reporting that they seeing actually the rounded corners the keyboard and they haven't seen it before even if you swipe up you can see even the bottom corners here are now rounded which previously used to be like just straight down just like a square at the bottom now it's rounded and of course it will look much much better now one thing that is great about iOS 26.2 and with the latest release with beta 3 it's even better are of course the animations like the animations are pretty amazing going pretty much anywhere on like pop-up menus like this you will see that those like animations that are really cool so if we go here you can see how cool that is basically putting the liquid glass where it's supposed to be like if you have seen the demonstration that Apple did of the iOS 26 back at WWDC 2025, you have seen these really cool animations that actually make the UI look much better and actually much smoother as well. And of course, we got those on the demo at WWDC 2025, but they didn't release initially with iOS 26. And now we finally have those really, really amazing and animations now another improvement with iOS 26.2 beta 3 is the speaker noise a lot of people have been reporting then when they're charging their device there will be a speaker noise right here at the bottom according to Apple that has actually been fixed so if you have one of those problems and you update to iOS 26.2 beta 3 that problem should actually be fixed now with this update and now let's move on and talk about battery. Of course, a really, really important factor for each update. Every time there's a new update released by Apple, the first question will be, will be how is the battery life? And it is really good with iOS 26.2. It's actually amazing how much Apple has improved the battery with iOS 26.2. You can see the usage right here, so 13 hours, 13 and a half hours with 182% battery. You can see right here, 12 hours, 30 minutes with 184. Right here, eight hours, 30 minutes. Right here, 11 hours with 159. And today we're at three hours and 22 minutes with 38% battery usage. And this is actually on a battery with 88% battery health. So again, great, great performance when it comes to battery. But also the overall performance of the software update is amazing. And it shows right here numbers. You can see the latest Geekbench score on iOS 26.2 beta 3, 3006 right there on the single core score and an amazing performance here on the multi-core score with 7675. So this is just an amazing, amazing performance from iOS 26.2 beta 3. And again, I've said this many times, iOS 26 has actually been great when it comes to performance, even on numbers here or just on daily use, it is actually really, really good. So that is it for this video, guys. These are the latest updates to iOS 26.2. Again, an amazing update coming out really, really soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one.